I'll just stick to easy for this. But yeah, that's something I'm going to look into, is um, potentially getting more enemies to kill on normal or hard. Cause I, I don't know if they've got more health as well, that's the thing, because you're on beginner, but I don't know if it like applies beginner to the health values. See, so yeah, I need to look into that. 1920 by 1080. Yeah, I don't bother because I'm just streaming all the stuff anyways. ATP 60 frames per second, 10,000 bit rate, no quality options. See, so yeah, you get like three num bodies here. I really like that movement though. I'm kind of glad the uh, the flamethrower actually has a use. I do thirteen sixteen by seven forty. I'm gonna go for these as well. well. I'll go for this one. The other guy's like off somewhere else. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll get enough kills. Seven, two, four, five. She says Heather Beam, but with a Japanese accent, so Heza Beam. Also, I think the um, Insane Cancers say something in Japanese as well. I think that's if you've got the costume on, though. Can't remember, like how you trigger that one. I think that's it though. Yeah, Hezabim. All right. Ten eighty six K. Whoops. I've got a really bad feeling that I've missed something. Nice dodge. I've got a bad feeling about this. Where's the other one? Not him! Oh, he's... Oh, screw it. I'm not... I'm not bothering. This is more than enough. 
Like, that's one thing. It's not really RNG if they die. Like Silent Hill 2, 10 star with the hyper spray. That's, that's a really bad meme. But yeah, here comes the... Uh, the scary part now. So yeah, fingers crossed for this. And I missed it. Right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Nice. I actually was close to missing that, by the way. Okay. Now I can relax. Good stuff. To be completely honest, Douglas, I don't know myself. One minute I'm on an escalator, the next I'm, like, in the void. I wonder when that was found, actually. It was, that's a pretty old glitch. It's been known about for quite some time. But yeah, this next one's much more recent. And you can actually do this on new game runs as well. Alright, here we go. Nice! First try. So yeah, that's frame perfect, by the way. You've got to open the menu on, like, the exact frame that she climbs up. But yeah, that was really good. So far, this is going really well. But yeah, this is what I need to like look into. Um, so, I have to switch... I have to, like, unequip the... the costume and the weapon. So that I can use the heather beam again. But the thing is, I might not have to do this if... Like, if I can get enough kills elsewhere. And then I don't need to switch, like, I don't need to, like, unequip stuff. So I need to look into this. 
because ideally I want to keep the the flamethrower equipped until the sewer because there's another zip so like I've got to re-equip it again and then you know it's like I kind of want to try and avoid having to do that thing is though I'm wondering if you even need the flamethrower because technically she's got a like a weapon equipped right now and I don't know if that would work for zips it might do I'll do a quick test actually after this run I'll very quickly test if you can zip using the um like without anything equipped just the heather beam but yeah so like the zips are basically based on what weapon you have equipped some weapons don't work like the handgun so that's why I need the flamethrower But it's not going to be worth, like, running it on normal if, like, enemies take more hits. Like, it's all well and good you get more enemies to kill, but at the same time, like, it's kind of pointless if they're going to take, like, way more hits to kill. Wait, what? Oh, there's another one behind me. I was wondering where those beams were going. Okay, that was pretty shit, though, to be fair. Half the beams were, like, going backwards, because, like, I guess there was one behind me, but... Okay. I don't know how we got there so fast. Pretty funny if this actually PBs. I mean, it's it's got a good shot because I got the out the zips like first try. Well, not the mall one. I, well, that's not a zip. That's like that's a wrong warp. I don't want that. God damn it. Hello? Where is he? God damn. That was unfortunate. Well, never mind. I take it back. It's not going to happen now. I need this again. So yeah, like, if you're not aware, you can't use Heather Beam while you've got a weapon equipped. So that's like, that's the thing I'm trying to avoid. Like, if I can keep, if I can keep this equipped between Subway and now, and get those kills elsewhere, that would be better. Unbelievable. That would never that would never happen on like a, an actual PB attempt. Epic.
So yeah, both zips first try. It's a good run though, like, yeah. This this should definitely be like a 16, 16 minutes or something. When's the best time to unequip this? Uh, I don't think there is a good time. There's no menu in. So yeah, this is just time lost you're gonna have to accept, I guess. Because I need to kill the pendulum. There's an outward bounce you can do there, by the way, but it's useless. There it goes. Yeah, I think on normal there's actually two uh, pendulums there as well. Oh, last night. Oh, do you mean Silent Hill 2? Nice. Great hitbox. Yeah, thankfully the beams go through walls, by the way. Easy. Oh, Silent Hill 2. It's alright, I'll highlight the marathon if you want to watch it. On YouTube. Makes a nice change, actually. All of all I've been doing on YouTube for the past like week is uh, shattered memories, casual playthroughs, and they're all getting copyright strikes. Not strikes, just claims. So yeah, that's another reason not to friggin' upload shattered memories stuff to YouTube. You just get friggin' copyrighted. You can't monetize any of them. Hey, Captain. How's it going? You went as an unemployed person for Halloween. I'll tell you what I do actually need to do with my YouTube though, I need to make friggin' thumbnails. I'm so friggin' lazy when it comes to stuff like that. Or like, uninventive. It's being invaded by the other world. Come on. Nice, really good, really good room. Really, 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 really good. Oh, employed. 
I misread that, sorry. <laughs> Bloody hell. My eyesight's getting worse. Confirmed. Oh god, this freaking chair again. Yeah, this will be a comfortable sub 3. Might even be sub uh, sub 250 actually. Shorter than I thought. It would have been quicker again if I could have used Pop Star of Silent Hill 1. Maybe next time. I didn't have like a save prepared. I didn't have like the channeling stone unlocked. That was good. Alright. So yeah, the only thing that can happen now is I don't have enough kills, which there's absolutely no chance of that. Unless the game glitched. Oh, I got this one as well. Wow, you can actually hit that one from back there. That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Noted. Last... Oh no, wait, this isn't the last kill. Is he dead? No. Nope. Yeah. There is quite a bit of RNG in this, like, regarding enemy movement. So you want that dog to, like, come down the corridor, obviously. Otherwise she might not even see him. Alright, last two kills. And that should be GG. Oh, maybe not. He's still alive. Good meme. Of course. So yeah, um, 31 enemies, that gives you the UFO ending when you return, uh, not return, when you get to the apartment. So if you don't get the UFO ending, it means you didn't get enough kills. But I, I should have gotten like 35, 36. And yeah, it's it's too bad there was no Silent Hill 4 UFO ending. I, you know, would have been nice to round it off. Oh, split. Yay! So 
よい子のみんな集まれー<笑>